Okay, Mo, should people stop complaining about the NCAA selection process? Yes, because it's not that complicated. It's not a mathematical formula. We don't have to spend all the time right after the brackets come out trying to figure out what message the committee is sending or what they're looking at or what criteria they're following. The criteria is simple. Win basketball games. The more basketball games you win, the more you put your fate in your hands. The problem with half of these schools, whether it's Virginia Tech, whether it's Colorado, frankly, whether it's some of the teams that did make the tournament, is that they put their fate in somebody else's hands. They put their fate in the NCAA selection uh, committee's hands, and that's not a good thing. When you put your fate in somebody else's hands, you have set yourself up to be screwed. And so do what UC has done. Do what Kentucky and Xavier and Ohio State, for example, have done. They have taken the whether they're going to get into the tournament question. They have taken control of that. Now, you're obviously putting in the committee's hands where you're going to go, who you're going to play, what your seat is going to be. All that can be overcome. What can't be overcome is when you don't make the tournament. And so for all the crying, look, it's simple. Virginia Tech, for example, don't lose to Boston College, don't lose to Virginia. Uh, Colorado, for example, uh, don't lose to Harvard. Don't lose to San Francisco. Don't lose to Iowa State. Those are quality teams, good players, and I guess there's a part of me that feels bad for them. Uh, but it's very, very simple. If you win those games, you have taken control of what your fate is going to be. Prime example, the 2006 UC Bearcats. I think that was a really good team. I think it was a team that could have beaten most in the tournament field. But at the end of the year, they didn't close out a game against Syracuse. They gave away a game against Villanova. They couldn't beat Seton Hall there, and that was a dog of a Seton Hall team. And they had a game earlier in the season against Xavier. They had a seven-point halftime lead and couldn't finish that one out. So ultimately, they left their season in the hands of the NCAA Tournament Selection Committee. And when you do that, you give up control. When you do that, you let somebody else control what happens to you. Oftentimes, that isn't good. You avoid that by very simply winning basketball games. Tell me what you think. Mo at ESPN1530.com or tweet me at Mo Egger 1530.